Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're going to be talking about how our fog ponic system has been doing for the past three days. Okay, guys. Um, in our last video, we talked about how our uh, we created our fog ponic system that we had created. A DIY video that you can check out in the video um, described here. Okay, now that um, we've already created our fog pond system, let me um, talk about what we encounter, what I encountered uh, with our fog pond systems in the past couple of days. Now, I've had a little bit of a problem in reference to these uh, ultrasonic um, foggers. What they do is um, they they vibrate at a high frequency where it creates. It turns the water from a liquid form to a gas form, okay? Now, this gets the water hot. Um, and I feel that it's it wouldn't be appropriate the better the cooler temperatures because it's been hot here. And um, basically having the hot water and the hot temperature it didn't show any, any type of growth. I mean, the plants that I put in, the ones that I had left over from our the ones that we were germinating for our hydroponic system, as you can see that they're, they're they're really green now and they're really doing good in this system. Now, I left them out um, until I received the, the fogger and stuff, and I put them into the hydro into the fog ponic bucket. Now, what I was seeing is that it was getting the water hot, and the mist wasn't getting up high enough. Now, there is a thing about it is that you can't have it too separated from the top of the water um, and it won't mist out so I had to create as you can see here and you can see that I created a little foam um, like a little life vest let's just say for the system what I did was I took a um, it was like a 42 ounce water bottle I cut it off and I cut off some some areas on the side so the water can come in I used one of those little uh, pool um, spaghetti floaties and I cut it around and I taped it to have it float on the water. Um, you do have to measure it out to see where the water is going to be getting at. But these ultrasonic foggers, they have like a little bar on the side. And basically that little bar, what it does is it's about the right distance where it needs to be so it can mist out. Now I did have to raise the water up almost to like four gallons inside of a five gallon bucket because the roots on these um um on the foams they weren't they weren't really rooting out so the moisture wasn't really getting into them some of them i'll show you now um on some of them you can see that there is no roots on the outside and there's a couple of them that are starting to root out what i'm thinking is that whenever you're going to germinate these guys make sure that they are rooted out fairly you know a good amount of roots are showing why is that because once the mist comes up the mist is not going to dampen it's not going to give a lot of moisture to the foams where the plants when they're germinating the foam is where they're getting their nutrients from instead this the foam doesn't get enough water so the roots have to be out so when the mist comes up the whatever you germinated get some um, the the nutrients from the fog so that's one thing to keep out for also the water level and you have to build something so it doesn't sit at the bottom which i did before um you can create these little things your diy you can purchase something and put some type of a foam so it floats on top of the water other thing is that i put the foam so the the mist doesn't escape Ever since I did that, that was, um, actually, I had this for like four or five days already, actually, not three days. Since two days ago, I, I created this and I put it in, I started to see that the plants, they were really, really yellow, okay? Some of them that you can see now are pretty yellow, and basically, now they're starting to, you know, to show some, some more green in, instead of the yellowness. Um, what I also did was I grabs a little bit like a, like a half of a teaspoon and put it into a spray bottle mixed it up with um, calcium nitrate and what I did is I sprayed the outside the leaves of the cilantro this would help them to since they're not getting the full amount because the roots are not out yet get it onto the leaves so they can start building some good foundation and they can get some 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 nutrients into their system um, besides that guys I've 
I mean, this is our fourth or fifth day onto this project, and I think that they're they're doing fairly okay. They're not doing well, which I expect them, but they've only been there for a couple of days. These took, um, you know, about a week and a half to, to really get out there. They're, they're about to be on the third week now. On Tuesday, they will be on the third week, and... Um, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty surprised they haven't died yet, but I mean, they were fairly weak. Hopefully, they don't die out on me, and I can get some growth out of them so I can continue this experiment. Um, but if not, then we would have to germinate again, get them growing some good roots, and then put them in here and see how that goes. Well, this is just an update, guys. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to our videos, make sure that you do support the channel by getting us a, a like on our videos. If you have any questions or um, comments that you may um, want to share with us, leave them down in the comment section so I can get in touch with you guys and, and share um, our knowledge with each other and we can grow our community for this hydroponics um, gardening channel. Um, I thank you guys again and I'll see you on the next one.